Welcome to The Melanated Way. I'm your host, Linda Entry. We have a special, special, special guest for you today. You guys, we loved him on this new 90 Day Fiance UK spinoff. One of our favorite couples. We had all the questions, so we had to reach out to him. Everyone, welcome Kayla. Hi, everyone. Hi, Hi. Linda. Hi. So thank you so much for joining us. We... No we're obsessed with 90 Day Fiance UK. We were so happy. It was like such a refreshing touch to a spinoff like 90 Day Fiance because we're so used to the US version that we're like, you know, people look for love all over the world. So why not the UK? And so the first thing I want to ask you is how did you get involved with the show? So I had seen some of the American like versions of the show. So mm -hmm. I knew about it. And I just saw an advert on Instagram one day and I thought, oh, I'm with Marvin. He's from a different country. So why not? May as well just apply and see what happens. And so you applied and what was that process like? So first of all, I just thought, right, okay, I'll send them an email. What's the worst that can happen? So I sent them an email and eventually they emailed back and they were like, oh, could you send some videos of you and maybe Marvin as well, just to like give us a show of your personality and what your day-to-day -day life is like. And then from there, they must have liked it and they wanted to do like live speaking. So we FaceTimed each other with the producers and then eventually we got on the show. Now, we waited a little bit for you guys. So uh, the first episode, we didn't see you. We didn't see you in the first few episodes. And we were like, where are they? <laughs> yes, it was a long wait. It was a long wait, but we're glad that we were able to finally meet you two. Now, how did you and Marvin meet so we meet we met on a dating site mm -hmm. so we were on tinder and i don't know how it worked because it was like quite a long time ago it was just as lockdown was first happening uh -huh. so i think they had international version of it that you could go on for free usually you'd have to pay for it but i was like okay it's free you may as well try it and see what happens so we were swiping each other and eventually like i saw marvin and thought this guy is beautiful so i should swipe him see what happens and he swiped me back and then it just went from there. Now, Caleb, do you believe in love at first sight? I'm quite skeptical, I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. I'd say like, I saw his features and thought he's beautiful first of all, but I wouldn't say it was love at first sight. You have to kind of get to know someone a bit more before you can actually say it's love. And do you feel, okay, so on our show, on my show, we talk about this, we debate about it a lot. And my personal opinion is you, even if I, like you and I are talking, Let's say you and I are video chatting every day for, I don't know, six months. Yeah. Is that a real relationship? And do you feel like you know someone? Because my opinion is you don't know someone until you've actually met them in real, real life. Yeah, well, I have heard that quite a lot. And I do agree with you in certain aspects of it. But I think when you're speaking to someone, you, that's all you can do is speak to someone. So you have a lot more time to actually get to know them and it's constant asking questions and learning more about the person. So when you do meet, you've kind of done that part before. Whereas sometimes when you go on dates and stuff, it can be a little bit awkward in person. Okay, okay. So, yeah. That's fair, that's fair. I still think that there, there has to be some like time together because anyone can present themselves as whomever. Yeah. And it's not until you like meet in real life. So what was that meeting in real life for you like when you finally were able to meet Marvin? Well, the first time we actually met was on the show and I was so nervous. <laughs> I wasn't sure like how I was feeling about everything, but I knew Marvin and it was literally just like meeting up with, like I'd not seen him in such a long time, basically. That's how it felt like it was someone I'd met before, but I just hadn't seen them in so long. Now but, I, po I popped up the promo photo of the two of you yes one of the things that people were so happy to see uh coming out directly on the first season of 90 day fiance uk was having a same-sex couple because you know we've only had two 
in the US version, did you feel like you were going to be um, like a leader in reality mm -hmm. TV for the UK coming out as one of the first same sex couples on a new reality show? Well, I didn't want to put that pressure on myself. <laughs> So I was just taking it as it came. Like, I didn't want to be like, oh, yes, I'm the only gay one, the first one, and blah, blah, blah. No, I just wanted to take it as it comes, treat it like probably any other couple on the show treated it and not think about things like that, because then that could be a whole different story. Okay. I didn't want fair. to become some sort of poster child. <laughs> that's fair. Now, tell me um, that moment when you and Marvin first met, um, because it was being filmed, and I know that you already said that you were nervous, but once you met, was it like, was it magical? Was it a relief? What, what was it? Because I know that there was some immigration hold up a little bit. Um, and so it made you wait a little bit longer. But what was that moment as soon as you actually made eye contact? Yeah, it was just like a total spark. Like yeah. it was like, this is just what I've been waiting for. And finally it's happened. So it was just such a great feeling. And I, I loved it, yeah, especially from the build up from him being like the last one to come mm -hmm. out of the airplane so it was just the build-up from that and then obviously seeing him and getting to actually touch him it was just perfect now we're gonna jump into your mom so your mom had some <clears throat> skepticisms about yes. moving too fast uh can we talk a little bit about your mom because people actually loved her they loved okay. her point of view um, they love the fact that you two are so close. So can you talk a little bit about your relationship with your mom and then your relationship with your mom and Marvin and how that played a factor into everything? Yeah, so I'm very close to my mom. So I share everything with her basically. So she knew everything before the show was filming and everything that was during going on. And she has like been on FaceTime with me when I was with Marvin as well. So like we FaceTime together, me and my mom, and then Marvin we would join as well. So she'd get to speak to him. So she knew him before as well. So she did like get a feel of his personality okay. and things like that. So why was she so against getting engaged right away? Because when that scene happened, Caleb, we were like, oh my God, is he not gonna propose now? What? <laughs> yeah, I looked so desperate. <laughs> mom said no. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know, like, maybe back in the day, it was more very like, you have to date for a certain amount of time, you have to be engaged for a certain amount of time, then you get married, like after that for a certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. So I think that's probably in her head what was making her think that way. Because nowadays, it's like you meet most people meet online, I think I'm not sure about the numbers. I but, think so too. Yeah, yeah. So I think it was like a very new concept for her. So it was no. very like, you've never met this guy before, you're going to get engaged. So it was like, what's going on? So does she love him now? Yes, she always did love Marvin, yeah. But she just was, like, she's very protective over me. Yeah, so as when she, she should be. Yeah, but when she get to know, got to know Marvin, like, she fell in love with him, same as I did. So, yeah, they get on really well. So are you in engagement bliss right now? Yes, planning the wedding, got my ring on. <laughs> and, and what is that going to look like? Like, are we, I know you can't answer this, so let me ask it this way. Are you actively looking for venues? Are you looking at colors and flowers and themes? Yes. And all and all of that. Love, all do you of love that. it? Do you love yeah, it? it's great. Yeah, I thought, like, usually I like to just kind of get it over and done with and not think about things, but obviously it's a wedding. So you have to be like, right, I want this color. And I think I'm turning into a bit of a bridezilla. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd be like that, but I am. And do you want a big or a small wedding? Quite a small, intimate wedding, I'd say. Okay. Now, your experience on the show, can you talk a little bit about that? Because obviously, first time on a reality show. Yeah. Uh, what was that experience like for you? It was really enjoyable. Like, I kind of did it for the experience, first of all. And it was an experience, I can say that. Yeah, it was an experience, yeah. but it was fun. Like I enjoyed every minute of it. And did like you, go ahead. It's just strange, like they ask you questions and you have to answer and like you're talking about yourself constantly. Like I was never used to that. Yeah. And like just with a camera, like being this close to your face constantly, it was quite nerve wracking, but you kind of did get used to it eventually. 
And after the show, have you been, you know, do people recognize you in your in the streets in your hometown? And do they yeah. stop you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's so awkward. I do enjoy it, but I think it's more awkward for me than it is for them. So they <laughs> like, I, Today in the supermarket, some woman came up and was like, oh, I love you, and you're on the show. And she was like, I didn't recognize you, but I recognized your mom. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. So one of the things that we have to talk about, Kalem, is do you have a specific skincare routine? Because your skin is flawless. And we talk about it on my show all the time. Like, what is it that you're doing? What skincare is it and like flawless? Well, actually my skin is not great just now. You can't tell because of the ring light. It's like, <laughs> 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 but under here, it's not looking too great right now. <laughs> but I do like to drink a lot of water. I'd okay. say that's like the main thing, basically. Okay. Drink, everyone drink your water and then like makeup as well. But I don't use like heavy foundations. I think that helps. It's like skincare foundations. That usually helps a lot. So like and a just, moisturizing, um, yes. okay. like a thin sort of serum sort of foundation Okay. or a, a BB cream or a BB cream. Okay. That's fair. Cause you know, you were glowing throughout the show. We talked about the, it all the time. Yeah. The lighting helped cause they did have big, massive lights. So that definitely <laughs> helped. <laughs> Everyone, if you want nice skin, just get a ring light. <laughs> Walk around with a ring light. Exactly. Just get one attached to like, your body somehow. <laughs> now, Caleb, are you, um, we want to know a little bit about your backstory. Are you only child? Do you have siblings? I have an older brother. Okay. But he didn't really want to be in the show. I did ask, but obviously most people probably don't want to be involved in shows and be filmed. Right. 24-7, yeah. yeah. And, and I have a dad as well. <laughs> okay. My dad, he lives with us as well, but he just didn't want to be filmed either. Oh, see, so that that's that's good to know. Okay, so yeah. a full nuclear family. Um, yeah. And does everyone live at home? Um, so my brother, he lives somewhere else. Okay. I moved back in with my parents when like COVID happened because I yeah. lost my job. Yeah. So we're still here. <laughs> Listen, stay as long as you can. That, for real, for plan. real. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. And then... So, yeah. Um, did you watch your season? Did you watch yeah. the full season? Who was your favorite couple besides you and Marvin, obviously? Katie and Alejandro. Same. You guys were our top two. We love Katie and Alejandro. She's such a nice person. Like, we speak outside of the show. I don't think we're meant to. But, yeah, she's lovely and we speak a lot. Also, another controversial character that I speak to as well, Richard. Oh, Richard. Yeah, I know. I'm just... <laughs> Yeah, he is nice deep down. Is he? <laughs> yeah, he is a nice person. I just think he's he just likes to be Richard on the show. <laughs> y yeah, we we have you know we talk about Richard a lot, and not a lot of it is very good. I can imagine, yes. Um, <laughs> but I'm glad to hear that he's actually a nice person in real life because. You know, he doesn't come across that way, especially towards women on yeah, the show. And I'm not defending that behavior at all. Okay, <laughs> I'm staying, great. Out, of, staying okay. out of it. <laughs> great, because because yeah, that's a whole other yeah scenario. Yeah. Anyways, okay, so back to um, you and Marvin. What mm -hmm. I wanted to know is, so he's from Seychelles, you know, small little area, and. Uh, you guys met online. Have you been to Seychelles yet? Or you guys ever have plans to go there? Or Yeah, I really want to go one day. But since we're saving up for the wedding, it's not really on the cards right now. But I would love to go to the Seychelles. Everyone keeps telling me how beautiful it is. And it's basically a holiday destination that people want to go to. But yeah. I'm, I, don't, I don't really like the sun. And I don't like being warm. So I'm like... <laughs> Wait, what? I know everyone's like you're crazy, but I don't you know. don't like the sun. No, oh, I try wow. to stay out of the sun as much as possible. Oh wow! Okay. I know, I know. <laughs> Maybe that helps with the skincare as well. Maybe it does. Maybe it does. Um, so how is it being in a long distance relationship, and how often do you get to see uh, Marvin? So we speak with each other every day on Facetime, basically. Uh huh. But 
I'd say a lot of patience if you were going to get into a long distance relationship because mm -hmm. it, it, it isn't for everyone. You just have to have the patience and have that time to actually connect with someone. But I know my connection with Marvin was real, so it's very worthwhile. But I know mm -hmm. some people might not think that way and just think, oh, it's online, uh, on to the next one. But mm -hmm. you just need to have a lot of patience, basically, especially time zones as well. That can be quite annoying. Oh, yeah, we had a little time zone snafu <laughs> ourselves, Google. <laughs> I think it was my fault, though. <laughs> Oh, you, no, I think it was Google. I'm blaming yeah, Google. Let's blame Google. Yeah, go yeah. for Google. It's Google's fault. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, one of the things that I, I do want to know a little bit about is, and if you can't answer it, because I'm not sure if this is a spoiler or not, but have you guys talked about, okay, so now you get married, you're happily ever after. Where do you live? How do you set that up? Like, have you had those discussions yet? Yeah, we have had those discussions, so we're quite far into those discussions. Okay. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. One. All right. <laughs> now, on the show, you weren't really keen in the beginning on um, having a family, and then we found out that Marvin, it was very important to him. Yeah. And so what changed your mind, ultimately? Was it, because I said it must have been compromise in that mm -hmm. you loved your relationship first. Yeah, like the way, the word I used, compromised, like maybe I shouldn't have used that word specifically because it does make it sound like, oh yeah, I'll just have a children, like I'll have children, it's fine, yeah. compromise. But no, it's not like that at all. Like I never thought I would find someone that I'd love so much that I would want to have children with. Mm -hmm. And I would, I never even thought about it to be honest before. Like I just didn't think about that. But then when I met Marvin and got to know him, I thought, okay, this is someone that I can have children with. And is this your first long distance relationship? Yeah, first long distance relationship. And what was your longest relationship? Marvin is my longest relationship. Oh, in total, okay. Because yeah. you two are both very young as well. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't really tend to get into relationships before. I'm very, I'm quite guarded, uh -huh. even though I was on a TV show and they filmed everything. But <laughs> I am quite guarded, really. So I never really got into relationships that much. I've only had one other relationship apart from Marvin. And so then how do you know he's the one? Because you guys are both in your, your mid-20s. Do you think yeah. that you guys are going to be the same people in 10 years? We'll, we'll grow together. That's the thing. Okay. So, yeah, since we'll be with each other, we will grow together and we'll learn more about each other every day. So, yeah, I think it's going to be a long-lasting relationship. Now, I know you can't answer this, but I do want our viewers to know uh, there is a season two of 90 Day Fiance UK. It got picked up for season two. They are casting uh, for it as well. Um, I don't know if we're going to see you guys on the show, but one of the things that we wanted to know is we felt like the show ended so abruptly and that we didn't get to see all of the couples and their happily ever after. Um, what, what are your thoughts on that? Well they're making a tv show they choose to do what they want to do with the footage so it's nothing to do with me basically yeah but yeah i can see as a viewer because i watch it as a fan as well mm. i can see that some it was quite unresolved with some couples yeah but you never know you might see more couples in the second season you just don't know what's going to happen now um we also in the u.s version we're used to having like a tell-all at the end mm. of the season have all the cast come together and talk about their experience. Do you think that the UK will move into that direction for season two? Hopefully, yeah. Because even for season one, like I would have loved that to happen because I have seen that in the American version. Yeah. But I think they were maybe just testing the waters to see if people enjoy the show, first of all, in the UK. Yeah. But I think for season, for season two, I think they definitely should. And you know what was interesting? I don't know if you know that, but um, for the US version, we only had 10 episodes and you guys had uh two more extra episodes yeah 12 mm -hmm. yeah 12 and so we feel like oh what are what's on the other two episodes that we haven't seen yet yeah well so is it still airing just now in the u.s so no it, it's over now but we yeah, only okay, had yeah. we only had 10 episodes yeah. so when the first episode came out for us you mm -hmm. guys had three episodes that dropped that day yeah i think what they did was like condensed those three episodes into that one single episode or whatever they did. Mm -hmm. like, I know they did condense it quite a lot. Yeah. 
So there were scenes that, because <clears throat> on my show, we have some followers from the UK. And so they were filling us in on some of the things that weren't making mm -hmm. sense to us. They're like, oh, right, well, right. you didn't see this part or you didn't see that part. We're like, no, we didn't. And so uh, that was a little confusing for us. But by the third episode, everything kind of balanced out. Yeah. Um. So that was fun. What would you say is your biggest takeaway from this experience? From the whole experience, like mm -hmm. it was really fun. I did really enjoy it. It was an experience. Mm -hmm. And through it, I got to meet Marvin. So that's my biggest takeaway, basically. <laughs> the love of got, your life. Exactly. I got to meet the love of my life through it. And yeah, like it was an enjoyable experience. I highly recommend it for anyone. <laughs> Oh, that's so sweet. I love that. I love that. Now, let's talk a little bit about um, you. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that you like to do on your off time? I'm quite a boring person. I like to watch TV. I like to play video games. Like, I'm not out there doing things all the time. As much as the show wanted to portray me as that, like going to drag shows and everything. Yeah. Like, like I do sometimes, but it's not all the time. I'm not like a party boy. Okay. But yeah, like usually I just like to hang about the house and just do basic boring stuff. What's your favorite TV show? Just now, The Handmaid's Tale. Of course. Okay. That's fair. But yeah, I'm into that just now. And, and I just finished Game of Thrones for like the third time. Are you watching the dragon one? Yes. Uh -huh. I love it. I just don't think it's as good as Game of Thrones. That might be you... controversial, but... Oh, you don't? <laughs> no, I think it's okay. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like that's how i felt the first season of game of thrones because they're just laying down the foundation yeah huh. right because the first season i was like uh it's not as great as everyone's saying but obviously greatest show ever <laughs> um but i feel like maybe that's the trajectory for Hopefully. the dragon one fingers as well. crossed fingers crossed you're right you're right um do you follow any of like the bloggers and social media stuff online, do you follow what they say about you and Marvin? Certain things, like so it pops up, like I follow the hashtag 90 Day Fiance UK, so I see things and most of it I find it really funny. Like uh -huh. it's quite hard to offend me, so hate does not bother me at all. Not that we've had any really, it's all been really positive. Yeah, I think but... that you guys came out as fan favorites. <laughs> well, thank did you, you. Did you know that? Um. No, I just think I'm Callum. Yeah, you guys came out as fan favorites. People really love you guys. Oh, well, that's good to know. Like, I have seen some comments, but I just don't like to let it go to my head and be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want to talk about this, your engagement moment. Yes. Walk us through what you were feeling here, the red carpet, the candlelight, <laughs> all of that. What were you feeling? Well, it was quite different what was filmed as to what like happened on the TV show. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they told me that Marvin was having a conversation with his auntie, so they went to film earlier. And so I was just thinking, okay, that's fine. So I'll come and film after. And they said to me, like, dress nicely. And I was thinking, why the hell do they want me to dress nicely? Like, I'm just going to speak to Marvin and probably do an interview or something. So I was like not paying attention and that's why I'm dressed like this. <laughs> <laughs> but then I was walking up and they were like, right, okay, just wait back a minute, wait back a minute. He's still on the phone. So I was like, okay, that's fine. So I just had to walk up and then I was looking around being like, why is Marvin not here? Like I could not see him at all. And obviously he's hiding behind that tree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but when he actually came out from behind the tree, I was thinking, oh, this is so nice. Like he's made a nice picnic for us. Uh-huh. So the first thing I did was just sit down. Oh, you sat down? I sat down and everyone was like, get up, get up. <laughs> so I'm just kind of like doing my own thing. Like, okay, it's time to stand up. And then it went into like the actual engagement. I was like, okay, it's actually happening now. <laughs> so it was a total shock. That is a great story. I love the backstory <laughs> of that. Marvin's yeah, probably different. thinking like, why is he sitting? Like, yeah, Marvin, because he was obviously wanting to get down on one knee and I meant to be standing. And like, I could see the women behind the camera was like, what is he doing? I could kind of just see like everyone <laughs> around was like, what is he doing? Just get up. <laughs> now, what, this is a actual castle. Do you know the name of it? So it's called Schoon Palace. Schoon Palace, okay. 
Everyone says it's a castle, but it's actually a palace. Oh. Yeah. So that's where the Scottish kings used to be crowned. And is it open to the public? Yeah, it's open to the public. I'm not sure if you can go inside, but actually okay. this was on New Year's Eve. So they, it wasn't open at that point, but they had closed it down for us to have this special moment. Aww, how beautiful. <laughs> so yeah, that was now, magical, yeah. Now, so are the, the lights and the trees and all the candles, Marvin did all that? So the trees and the lights were there, but all the candles and all the red carpet and champagne, that was all Marvin. Okay. And he picked the location. It's just because it was Christmas time. Yeah. That's why the, the trees were there with the lights, but it worked perfectly. It totally worked perfectly. We were like, oh, this is so romantic. And there was loads of peacocks running about as well. Oh, wow. So it was kind of like getting them out of what we were okay. doing because <laughs> they just roam freely. Oh, wow. I think I would have liked to see some peacocks roaming around. <laughs> oh, no, they can be quite scary. Oh, really? Yeah, like I've seen them when they get angry and you don't want to be around them when that happens. <laughs> Now, here we are with our happily ever after. Tell me the things that you think that are, tell me five things that are very special about Marvin specifically. Marvin's patience, the way he treats me is just amazing. He's just so kind, caring. He's just a great person. What am I on, like two, three? Three. <laughs> three, yeah, his looks obviously, I just think he's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I know you shouldn't say like someone's looks and everything, but yeah, he's magical. And just the, the way he treats my friends and family as well, like just the sort of person he is, he's just a great person. Everyone needs a Marvin. Aww. Now, we learned a little bit about your family and without, you know, hypothetically, let's say in the future, there's going to be more of you guys. We didn't get to learn anything about Marvin's family. Mm -hmm. um, and so... We have questions. We sure. want to know. We want to know about his family too. Yeah. So maybe hypothetically, that could happen. Possibly. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like okay. he's his family. Like he's not too close with his family. Like they're getting better just now, but mm -hmm. they didn't want to be part of the TV show. Which, yeah, again, is understandable. People just don't want to be. Yeah. But he filmed with like when he filmed with his friends. His auntie was actually there as well, and they filmed with her. But uh -huh. They just cut her out for some reason. Oh, okay, so there was a family in there for, for a little bit. Yeah, there family. was, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. We're, you know, we're curious yes, and we I are understand. nosy <laughs> and all of the things here in the 90 Day Fandom. Um, have you met or not met, obviously, in real life, but have you connected with any of the other 90 Day Fiance franchise people, like outside of the UK version? Yeah, I've spoken to some of them online. Okay. So, and everyone's just been so nice and so great. Like some people like have got so many followers and you, I don't know why, but I just think, oh, they're too good for this. <laughs> like, but they're not, they're all just lovely people. Yeah. And like, they're just so down to earth. Like from the conversation I've had with certain people, I just think they're great. And they've and done everything in their power to help me. That's what I was going to ask. So have they shared a little bit of their journey and what to expect with, with the 90 day fandom? Yeah, some people have, yeah. Yeah. And some people are just like, take my cameo, make money. <laughs> but I'm just saying nothing. <laughs> are you going to do cameo and all of that stuff? To be honest, like, you've probably seen my social media. I don't post that much. So the social media life just isn't for me, to be honest. Mm -hmm. But I'll consider it. Like, I've not even got TikTok or anything. So, but you, <laughs> so you actually really did do this show then just for love. Yeah, basically. Because most people would say that, you know, they do the show and then they it's use not, their yeah. audience to do. Yeah, exactly. Start selling like flat tummy tea or something. That part. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, yeah, that's not for me. <laughs> Just wait. You'll see me in like a few weeks and I'll be like, oh, try this lollipop. It'll make you skinny. <laughs> I'll be like, Caleb had a change of mind, clearly. He sold his soul to the devil. Sold it. Sold it. <laughs> but no, that's not, in the, no, I can't think of it doing stuff like that. Like, I can't imagine being on Cameo, like, telling someone happy birthday or something that you don't know that probably doesn't care. <laughs> I mean, 
uh, some people are making a lot of money off of that. Yeah, well, but each, it, but each to their own. That's it, right? I mean, if that's your motivator, then I guess that's yeah. fine. Uh, I want to talk about a little bit about the process because I know that the UK process um, is different. Like, there's not really a K one visa process yeah. uh, where you have to get married in those ninety days. What's the process there? I understand that you can stay. Is it true you can stay for three months? I think so, yeah. Visa? But it, it's like different for different places, like the Commonwealth. Uh -huh. Like, so I think it's different for there as well, and like just depends basically where you're from in the world, as how long you can stay for, just different times. Okay, so what? But what's the visa process for you? So you're getting married. You have to apply for a visa uh, for Marvin. Yeah, so the way it's worked, it's even worse because the Seychelles is quite a small place. Mm -hmm. So to get his visa, he has to get biometrics, which is like his fingerprints and yeah. blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So they don't actually do that in the Seychelles. Oh. So they basically said to him, you have to fly away over to Mauritius or you have to fly to South Africa just to do that before you can even get the visa on, like, in process. And that's not, it might not happen. They might say, no, sorry you're not going to get the visa. And after Marvin's like flown away to all these places. So it's even worse. <laughs> Seychelles doesn't have a biometrics. Apparently system? not. No, we've been in contact with like the British High Commission in the Seychelles and everything. But I'm like, why? Like, obviously, they've got something that can do fingerprints, but I don't know how it works, to be honest. Well, but that's what we were told. So as a, I'm Canadian and uh, coming to America, that you have, I had to do that. So it's not just fingerprinting, it's fingerprinting. You have to go to a very specific doctor. They give yeah. you like blood testing and all of that. And then you have to go and get like a biometric scan. Okay, that's probably yourself. why they don't do it in the Seychelles. Yeah, yeah, so there's a whole, there's a lot of things that you, that you have to do and you have to go to specific places that are, what's the word I'm looking for, that are like, um, like official sort of thing. Official, yeah. yeah. Um, like you can't just say, oh, I know a doctor. I'm just going to go to this doctor and he can do yeah. X, Y, or Z or she can do X, Y, or Z. So that makes it a really interesting because, mm -hmm. you know, if he goes to, flies to South Africa or wherever, but they don't know him, who's going to like vouch for him? And then where do they send that information back to? Like what doctor or do they send it to... Exactly. Uh, British consulate, or does Seychelles have a consulate? Yeah, so they've got a British consulate. Okay, yeah. so, so I, I've actually been in contact with them, and they're not being very helpful, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, so but, that puts a little kink in it. But you guys will work it out. Exactly, it'll all work out in the end. We've got yeah. different ways of doing things. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you were gonna name your top three honeymoon destinations. Mm -hmm what three places would you name? Well, since I don't like the sun or being warm, <laughs> Marvin's actually the same, even though he's from the Seychelles. He, yeah. he likes being cold like me. So it'd be Iceland probably. Okay. And then probably like Sweden or something and maybe okay, like so New good. Zealand as well. Okay, that's fair. Sweden was named the number one uh, country to live in. Yeah. In I think 2022. The happiest place to live as well yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. I'd love to go there. Interesting. I've never been either. I, I would love to go and see what the hype is about. Exactly. Because it could be terrible. You just never know. Don't read right. everything you see on the internet. That's right. Or whatever everyone's saying that, you know, everyone's happy. Meanwhile, everyone's like, Arr. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's next for you? Like, I know you say you're a bit of a homebody and an introvert, but would you ever consider like having a YouTube channel, maybe doing like makeup lessons? I have considered it, yeah, but mm -hmm. I cannot edit. Like, I don't know how people do it. I wouldn't even know the first thing to start editing or doing anything like that. I can barely work my phone, never mind a laptop. <laughs> so I would love to do it, but I just don't know how to do it. <laughs> but but there's so many like apps that are make it really, really easy to edit now that you don't have to really even know too much. You just have to throw the video in, clip it where you want, add some words in where you want. We can talk <laughs> offline. I, I'm like, you're telling me this and I'm like, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, definitely. I will take your tips because you seem to have it pretty good. <laughs> Oh, you're making me laugh so much right now. I'm just, 
<laughs> um, let's play a little bit of a game. Okay. So it's going to be like word association. Oh so <laughs> hold on one sec. I have to write. So. I'm just going to take a sip of water. Yeah, please do. Okay, so the first example I'll say is is this. So if I say vacation or stay at home, you just pick which one appeals to you. Okay, most. so like multiple choice basically. So I pick yeah. Right, okay. yeah. Love or romance? Love. Vacation, stay at home. Stay at home. Man cave or home, like house, the whole house. Whole house. Who needs a man cave? <laughs> Video games or walk in the park? Can I do both at the same time? <laughs> you have to Let's go. Walking. Video games. Okay. Walk in the park or swimming? Swimming. A big love gesture or small love gesture? A small love gesture. Happiness or money? Happiness. Is that even a question? <laughs> I mean, for some, yes. <laughs> well, yeah, true. For some, yes. I absolutely think so. Um, love, we, I think you answered this, but we're going to add it anyways. Love at first sight or over time? Over time, I'd say. Okay, perfect. You did well. You did pretty well. <laughs> Normally, we time them too, um, and it's funny when you add the element of of time because people are like, "No, no, no! I, I don't want to choose that one. I want to choose this one." <laughs> you know, I did quite well. Very decisive. <laughs> yeah, you were. You did actually very, very well. Um, and it's interesting your choices. It's definitely uh, love based. Mm -hmm. yeah. Love base. Most people that know me, I, you know the how you do the heart thing with oh, yeah. me. Uh, I can't do it. Like I've <laughs> people have tried to show me. They show me upside down. They say Linda, do this. I, I just so this is supposed to be my. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Heart. That's your way of loving, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah, all, all warped and crooked. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit of crooked love is fine. <laughs> uh, Okay, so I won't keep you too much longer because I know uh, there's quite the time difference for us. But hypothetically, if you were asked to do another reality show, whether it was this one or another one, you had a great experience, so would you do it? Depending on what it was. Okay. Like, if there was a spinoff, for example, like, I know you guys in America have the, when they lie yeah. in the bed. Oh, yeah, pillow talk. Yeah, see, I would enjoy doing that. Like, I'd do it with KD. Like, me and KD would kill that. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. hope you guys do a UK version of that. that. Would be awesome. Yeah. See, I would do something like that, but I don't think I'd be on the show again because I don't think Marvin enjoyed the filming process as much as I did. Oh, he Let's didn't. Just leave it at that. Yeah. Okay. I just so that, I don't. Okay. Sorry. Um, we saw because today I also saw um an update from let me victoria uh -huh. Victoria. On her yeah on her instagram uh talking about the filming experience as well and and how she's kind of an introvert so it's interesting yeah. how i guess we don't think of those things as fans and me as a journalist because i'm always around the camera i never think about it but right. i guess it, it could be like a really big deal and, and nerve-wracking I've seen like things online, like Victoria giggled after sentences and I'm like, I kind of did that as well. Like they must've edited me pretty good. But like when you're saying something and they're asking you questions about yourself and you have to talk about yourself, it doesn't come as easy. Like it's just a strange thing to do because you don't do that often in real life. Yeah. So getting used to that and like as an introvert, maybe I think Victoria is possibly a little bit more introverted, but I can see like from the experience why people react and maybe say things in certain situations yeah. that they don't maybe really mean. Yeah. 
It's interesting. So uh, it's it's just stuff that it's the behind the scenes things that we don't necessarily think about, right? Like yeah. the camera being in your face 24 seven and having to always speak about yourself. Right. Cause like, I think I could say maybe three or four things about myself and that's it. It would be like the same three, three things like, Oh, I'm from Canada, you know, maybe my age and Oh, I have like a couple of brothers. You know what I mean? Like that's what yeah. else can I say? When, when you were like, what do you like to do outside of like in life in general? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like when it comes to questions, like we put on the spot, like I'm just not used to it. And it's, it's just a strange feeling to be honest, but it's quite enjoyable as well. Now, how is your whole, because, you know, I know that we didn't really touch on this too much, but your best friend is very protective of you, the one that yeah. we met on the show. Uh, has she come around to Marvin and and your decision to get married and all of that stuff? Yeah, she loves it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she is very protective. Like her and Marvin, they speak all the time as well. They always uh -huh. message each other. Oh, good. You have because, your little... Sorry. No, go on, ahead. Like, on the TV show, it's like a snapshot of your life and people just see like the little bits or like a little five minute conversation or whatever and that's just not what happens in life basically yeah so, like they do really get on even though becky she looked like a dragon like interrogating him but yeah it was different it wasn't quite as bad as that the music and everything helps but <laughs> yeah <laughs> they get on with each other oh good that's so good to know well, I hope we see more of you. I hope we see more of you and congratulations. And we're wishing you like all the love, romance, Thank happily you. ever after. We really enjoyed having you on, on the season. Uh, you, like we said, Alejandro and Katie, you and Marvin were fan yeah. favorites. Thank and we, so were just, we were just a smidge disappointed that we didn't get to see everything pan out. Yeah. Um, when the season ended. So I'm so happy we were able to do this and I'm glad you're thriving and I can't thank wait to you. see more. Yeah, thank you so much. And thank you for having me. Absolutely, this was so much fun. You answered so many questions that we've all been wondering like, hmm. I'm good, I'm glad I answered the questions because I wasn't sure. <laughs> <But> that's good. <laughs> awesome, you guys, make sure that you are following. Caleb, what's your Instagram? Callum 90 Day Fiance UK. Make sure you're following him on his social media and hopefully we'll see more of them. Bye guys, thank you so much. Bye, thank you.